Okay, today I'm going to be starting some bacon that was, I helped some friends harvest a couple of hogs, and this is a fresh pork belly from one of those hogs. And normally I just create my own here, but today I'm going to be using the Blue Ribbon Hickory Bacon Cure from Walton's Inc. And we're going to give that a go and see how that Taste so I have 6.8 pounds of fresh pork belly and I did the calculations and It's 2.2 ounces of cure for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that rubbed in and then we'll let this cure for a week in the refrigerator and then we'll go ahead and rinse it off smoke it and Eat it So I'm gonna go ahead and rub this cure in get it rubbed in all over it's most important to get this all in rubbed into the wherever the meat you can see the meat coming through it's not as important on the fat cap side as it's not going to soak through that fat cap but it will add flavor to it. So we'll want to put some there, but the majority of it needs to go on this side where the meat is. Okay, now that I have this all rubbed in, I'll go ahead and stick this in the refrigerator and leave it for about a week. And then we'll go ahead and get it out, rinse it off and smoke it and give it a good taste. Okay, so the bacon's been curing for a week now. I'm gonna go ahead and get it pulled out of the refrigerator here. I'm gonna rinse it off and get it good rinsed really clean and then put it back in the fridge overnight and then tomorrow I will go ahead and smoke it. Okay, so I'm going to let this soak for 20 minutes and then go ahead and dry, <clears throat> dump the water out, let it dry off a little bit, and then I'm going to put it back in the refrigerator overnight, and then I will smoke it in the morning, or start smoking it in the morning. All right, it's been 20 minutes, or maybe just a little bit over that. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out, give it one more quick rinse. And then uh, set it over there in the pan and let it sit overnight to, to dry out and then be ready to smoke starting in the morning.
Okay, it's early the next morning. It's just sun's not quite up yet. You can hear the birds singing. There's a woodpecker over there in the forest. Hammering away on a tree. Anyhow, it's, it's early the next day and so I'm gonna smoke the, the bacon today. And what we're gonna do is there's several stages to this. So we'll start off at 120 degrees for an hour, and then I think it's up to 130 for an hour, 140. Anyhow, there's several different stages. First stage, there's no smoke. It's 120 degrees for one hour with no smoke. So we'll just wait for the smoker to get warmed up. Went ahead and pulled the bacon out of the refrigerator, and uh, we'll get it going here in a little bit, and then I'll just show you all the different stages as we go along and then also have it in the description here's the bacon i went ahead and pulled it out of the refrigerator let it warm up a little bit so that it won't be quite so cold when it goes into the smoker okay smoker is up to temp it's up to 120 degrees so we're gonna go ahead and get this bacon put in there and get it going i'm gonna put it in fat cap up and let it rock for an hour in here <clears throat> and then we'll go to the next step well the hour is just about up and so I'm gonna go ahead and get some wood chips Put in here in the tray and get it in so they can start heating up so we can start the next hour and the next hour we're gonna bump it up to 135 let it smoke for an hour and then we'll go ahead and uh, just keep increasing that temperature and we will go from there Okay, the first hour's up. I went ahead and bumped up the temperature setting to 135, so it's going to take it a little while to get up to temp, but I'll just give you a quick look at the pork belly after one hour at 120 degrees. It's like the fat's starting to melt just a little bit, but not a whole lot going on just yet. All right, it's been an hour, so now it's time to push the temperature up to 150 for the next hour. So I'll go ahead and do that. And we'll go ahead and let that run for an hour, and then we'll bump it up to 165, and after that, I'll push the temperature, it's either 180 or 185 with no smoke until the bacon reaches an internal temperature of 135 degrees. So we'll go ahead and let this roll. All right, another hour has passed, so I'm going to push the temperature up to 165 for another hour, then 180 degrees until the internal temperature of the bacon reaches 135. And I'm also going to go ahead and insert the temperature probe now so I can start tracking that temperature. All right, uh, another hour has passed. Uh, it's time to push the temperature up to 180 degrees. And we'll just keep it there until the bacon reaches an internal temperature of 135 and I'll pull that stick it in a nice bath to stop the cooking process for about 20 minutes and then let it cool for a couple hours and then go ahead and put it in the fridge and then later on slice it up and fry some up so I'll go ahead and push the temperature up All right, here we go.
right, the bacon has reached an internal temperature of 138. I, I believe I misspoke earlier when I said 135. It needs to come to an internal temperature of 138 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's done that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. I'm going to stick it in an ice bath for about 20 minutes or so just to make sure that temperature doesn't continue to go up. Then I'll let it sit out uh, in the kitchen for an hour or two to, to continue to cool down, and then I will place it in the refrigerator, get it nice and cool, and make it easier to slice, and uh, slice some up, and fry it, and give it a taste. I'll go ahead and get this pulled out of here now. I'll go ahead and turn the smoker off. Looks like bacon. This is actually a pretty fatty pork belly to make it a little fattier than standard hog. But it'll still make good bacon. Now I'll go ahead and let this cool down and go from there. Okay, this is been sitting in the ice bath it's cooled off the temperature is no longer continuing to rise and it's starting to fall so I'm gonna go ahead and just let this sit out I patted it dry with a paper towel go ahead and let this sit out for a while cool down some more and then like I said earlier I'll go ahead and uh, place it in the refrigerator to cool overnight before slicing Okay, so the time has finally come to slice this bacon up and then we'll fry some up and give it a try. See what it's like. Square it up here a little bit. You can see there's quite a bit. It's pretty fatty pork belly. Should be tasty. And the, you, I don't know if you can see it here in the video, but the grains of this meat are running this way. So that's why I'm slicing it this way across the grain. All right, I'm going to go ahead and fire up the frying pan and See what this tastes like. So today while I'm frying this up, I'm using my carbon steel frying pan. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull these off here. It's time to finally give this a try. It's been a little over a week since this whole process started. Started it on a Monday, and today is a Wednesday, a week later. So it takes a little time, but hopefully it's worth it. Yep, that's good. Took a second there for the flavor to hit me, but that definitely is worth the effort. Thanks for sticking with me through this, and 
keep on coming back subscribe like share you know all the the drill but thanks for watching Thank you.